Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in today's video, we will understand how to use Anthropic Cloud with Google Forms and Google Sheets. So here, let's say that I'm using a form builder application that is Google Forms. So here, my objective is that whenever a new form submission is done, then by using the details from that contact form, I wish to create an automated article by using Anthropic. Once the article is generated, then I want to create a document in Google Docs by using the same automated article. So now to do this, I need to build an integration between these applications for which I will be using Pably Connect, where my trigger application will be Google Forms and my action application will be Anthropic and Google Docs. So now to learn more about this integration, follow me through the screen. In this video, we will understand how to use Anthropic Cloud with Google Forms and Google Docs. So let's say that you're using a form builder application, which is Google Forms. So here you want that every time a form is submitted, let's say that there is this employee engagement survey in your office. Now what you want is that the data that you have received through those form submissions, there is certain data for which you have to generate content. And you are using Anthropic for the same. Anthropic is an AI safety and research company that helps you in generating content. And then you want to create a document and append the generated content in that document. So now this can be done by using an amazing integration and automation software that is Pably Connect. So here as an existing user, I will sign in. But if you are a new user, you can click on the sign up for free button and you will get 100 tasks for free every month. So as an existing user, I'm signing in. This here is the all applications page by Pably. So here to reach my dashboard, I will go to Pably Connect and click on access now. So this here is my dashboard and to create a new workflow, I will go to my right hand side corner and click on this create workflow button. And now in this dialog box appearing, I'm going to give my workflow a name and here I have named it as use Anthropic Cloud with Google Forms and Google Docs. And on my left hand side, you can see that these are the folders that I've created. So I want to save this workflow in the folder named as Anthropic. And here I will simply click on create. So as I did that, now I've arrived on a very important window, which consists of trigger and action. Basically, trigger and action are the two most important principles or concepts of Pably Connect on which this entire automation and integration will depend. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. Here, my use case is to use Anthropic Cloud with Google Forms and Google Docs. So now I will take you to the Google Forms that I have created. So this here is the Google Forms that I have created. Now, whenever a new form submission will be done, then I want the data should be captured in Pably Connect. So here in responses, you can see that I can link it to the Google Sheets. So it can send the responses to a spreadsheet as well. So now here, what I will do is firstly, I will do a test submission. So here I'm going to the preview mode. And now here I'm mentioning the full name as dummy demo. Once this is done, I will mention a dummy phone number. Now in email, I'm going to mention a dummy email as dummy demo at the rate pablitudes.com. So here the topic for monthly newsletter article will be marketing strategies to enhance Instagram reach. And now here I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that a response has been recorded. And here you can see that there is one response that I've received and here are the details. Now I will link this to Google Sheets by clicking on this. So here, if you want to use an existing spreadsheet, you can do that or you can simply go with a new spreadsheet. So here, this is the name for my new spreadsheet. So here I'm going to click on create. Now here you can see the response. Let me format this once. So over here, as per the Google Forms response, the response is successfully added over here in a Google Sheet as well. Now I need to establish a connection between Pably Connect and Google Sheets to get the response in Pably Connect. So over here in Pably Connect, in the trigger window, I'm going to use Google Sheets as my trigger application and here it is. So here, once this is done, I will select the trigger event that will be new or updated spreadsheet row. So as I've selected my trigger application and trigger event, now a webhook URL is given and along with that, a help desk is given. 
सो रीड दिस हेल्प दिस गिवन बिलो केयरफुली बिकॉज दिस वे बुक यू आर एल विल हेल्प यू टू कनेक्ट योर गूगल शीट्स अकाउंट विद पैबली कनेक्ट सो नाउ टू डू दिस आई विल टेक यू टू माई गूगल शीट्स ओवर हियर आई नीड टू गो टू एक्सटेंशन सो नाउ टू डू दिस यू मस्ट हैव दिस पैबली कनेक्ट वे बुक एक्सटेंशन सो इफ यू डोंट हैव इट यू कैन सिंपली गो टू एड ऑन्स and in add-ons you can search for pably connect web books so as i've already installed this extension so it says installed you can also follow the same process to install this extension so now as this extension is already installed here in this google sheet you can see that so there are five columns one is of time stamp full name contact email then is of suggest a topic for monthly newsletter article Here you can see that only one sheet is there in this spreadsheet, and over here is the name of this Google Sheet that is Survey for Monthly Newsletter. So now moving ahead, as I want to connect this Google Sheet with Pably Connect, so here I will go to Extensions, and in Extensions I will go to Pably Connect Web Books and click on Initial Setup. Now here in this Initial Setup, I need to mention the Web Book URL. So from Pably Connect, I'm going to copy this Web Book URL. and i will paste the same over here so once i have pasted the webhook url now i need to select the trigger column so the trigger column will be a final data column on which the data is added so the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url so over here e is my trigger so i am selecting e as my trigger column and now i will click on submit so here you can see that the setup is configured successfully now i will close this So now once again I will go to extensions go to Pably Connect web books and now I will click on the send on event. So here now whenever a new form submission will be made the response of that form submission will be added into this Google Sheets and then it will be sent to Pably Connect automatically. That means now whenever a new row will be added in this Google Sheets the details of that new row will be sent to Pably Connect automatically. So I'm clicking on send on event. and once i have done that i will refresh the page once as it is important step so now again i will do a test submission so now to show you that the response that will be received through form submission will be added over here and then it will be sent to pably connect automatically so here i will do another form submission so here i am mentioning the full name as test demo and the contact number will be a dummy one Now moving to a email that will be a dummy one that will be demo at the rate pably tutes dot com and here the suggestion for monthly newsletter article will be marketing strategies to enhance Facebook. So here now I will click on submit. So here you can see that the response has been submitted. So now over here in Google Sheets, you can see that the response is successfully added over here in a Google Sheet. Now what I will do is I will go back to Pably Connect, and here in Pably Connect, you can see that our response has been received. Here is the trigger column as E. Here is the timestamp. Here is the topic for the monthly newsletter. Here is the spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, along with the sheet name, sheet ID, row index, and there is the full name, email, and the contact. That means the form submission details, which were added into a Google Sheet in a new row, are successfully captured over here in Pably Connect as well. So the first step of this automation is successfully done. Now, whenever a new form submission will be done. Firstly the details will be added in a Google Sheets then automatically the details of that new row will be captured over here in Pably Connect so this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so now moving further as i want to use anthropic cloud with google forms and google docs so here as i want to generate some automated content so over here in my action window i'm going to search for anthropic as my action application and here it is So once I've selected my action application I need to select the action event that will be to create completion. So now here I need to establish a connection between Anthropic and Pably Connect. So here I'm going to click on connect. So now if you have an existing connection you can go with the same or you can add a new connection. So to add a new connection you need to give a API key. 
So here you can get the API key from this account setting hyperlink as well. So as I have an existing connection, I will go with the same and click on save. So now over here, you can see that Anthropic and Pabli Connect is successfully connected. So here I'm using the model as Claude 2. So now moving to prompt. Here I need to enter the prompt that needs to be completed. So here I'm mentioning the prompt as write an article on the topic. And here I'm going to map the topic from the response that I've received. So mapping is basically to insert the data from previous step. So here I'm mapping the topic. It's done. Now moving to max tokens to sample. Enter the maximum number of tokens to generate before stopping. So the tokens will be 400. So now moving to temperature, it is the amount of randomness in the response. So the default is one ranging from zero to one. Use lower values for analytical task and higher for creative task. It must be less than or equal to one. So here I'm going with the default value that is one. Now moving to these fields, so to enhance the creativity of your article, you can go along with these fields. But as of now, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So now here in the response received, you can see that our article is generated automatically. So now over here, the stop reason was max tokens as I've given a limit. The model is Claude 2 and here are my log ID details. So as in this response, here, I don't want this first line that goes as here is a draft on article on marketing strategies to enhance Facebook. So now to remove this, I will be using text formatter by Pabli. So text formatter by Pabli is a feature which helps you to format text. So over here in the action event will be to split text. So now I will click on connect. So now moving to text to split. So here from the response received, this is the text which I want to split. So here I want to remove this first line that goes as here is a draft article on marketing strategies to enhance Facebook. So over here, the separator can be a word separator or this character separator. So now here, as I want to separate this first line, so here the separator will be a colon. So here in separator, I'm going to add a colon. Once this is done over here, the segment index will be second because I want to fetch the second part. So here I'm going to click on save and send test request. And over here you can see the article and the first line that I wanted to remove that was this line is successfully removed by using text formatter by Pabli. So now once I formatted the text, so now once this is done, now I want to create a document. So here in this plus action step. So here in this action window, I'm going to use Google Docs. So here it is. Now in the action event, that will be to create a blank document. So here now I need to establish a connection between Google Docs and Pabli Connect. So here I'm simply going to click on connect. And now if you have an existing connection, you can go with the same or you can add a new connection. So to add a new connection, you just need to sign in with your Google account. And here I will click on continue as this is a secure access. So the authorization was successful. So now over in document name, I need to give the name to my new document file in Google Docs. So over here, I want to name the document as marketing strategies to enhance Facebook. So, he so here I've mapped the document name. Now I will click on save and send test request. Here I've received a response and it is a positive one. So now I will take you to my Google Docs account. And over here, you can see that a new document has been generated. It is a blank document. Here you can see marketing strategies to enhance Facebook is the name of the document. And this is a blank document. So that means this document is successfully generated here in Google Docs. So as the blank document is generated in Google Docs, now I want to add the automated article. So now to do this over here, once again, I'm going to search for Google Docs. And here it is. Now I need to select the action event that will be to append a paragraph to a document. This will insert a paragraph to a document. So here I'm selecting it. And now I will click on connect. So here as I've just connected Google Docs with Pabli Connect. So I will go with the existing connection and click on save. So here you can see that Google Docs is once again connected with Pabli Connect. Moving to document. So what I will do is I will click on this map button 
And now over here, I will remove this document. And here I'm going to map the document ID that I have got from the response received. So here I'm just scrolling down. And here is the document ID. So this method of mapping is important so that every time you receive a new response with a new data, so that data can be taken into consideration in these fields. If I would have written this information manually, in that case, this information would have become static, which means that it wouldn't change even if I would have received new response. So to avoid that problem, we map the information. So here as I've mapped the document, now I'm going to insert the text. So here again, I'm going to follow the process of mapping. So here from the response received, I'm going to map the inserted text. So now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I've received a response and it is a positive response. So here you can see that the automated article that was generated by using Anthropic is successfully added into a Google document. So this automation and integration was a successful one. Now, whenever a new form submission will be made through Google Forms, then automatically the data will be added to Google Sheets and then the same data will be captured by Paply Connect. By using Anthropic, an automated article will be generated and then by using text formatted by Pabli, the content will get split into parts and then the automated content will be added and then the automated article will be added in the Google document. Not just these applications, you can integrate a lot more applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you have any doubts regarding Pabli, reach us at support at and if you have any queries, you can visit us at forum.pabli.com if you have any pricing related query, you can visit this link. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.